Hey everybody, I just wanted to um, do a new video. It's been a while since I've done one because, you know, life is crazy and had a lot of stuff going on. But I wanted to kind of go a different route this time because I know so far all you guys have seen are recipe videos or product reviews. And that's not all I want my channel to be about. I also want it to include DIY stuff, organization stuff, but money saving tips as well. So today, we're gonna save you guys some money. And we're gonna do that by this program right here called Cody. And what this program does, if you're not familiar with it, it enables you to watch um, free movies and free TV. So basically, you can cut the cord with this program if you want. If you wanna save money, cut out your cable or satellite costs, you can do that completely 100% legally free with this program. And what we're gonna do first, I've already got this downloaded on here, but I'm gonna show you guys where to go get it. You go to cody.tv slash download and you pick if you're doing for Mac or Linux or Windows, obviously I've already got it installed on Windows. So we are going to go back over here to Cody. From there, you are going to go to file manager and you're gonna add a source and where you can get the source, and I will put a link to this in the description box below, is on Spoon Fed Productions. Spoon, it's Spoon Fed Productions, but it's actually SpoonFedProduction.com. And up here, repos and video add-ons, and you're going to get this top one right here. I'm only using this one right now because I'm just doing a very basic video to show you this pretty much has everything in it that you're gonna need to watch movies or TV. This is actually the only add-on that I use for this program. And it contains everything. So, you're gonna go over here, you're gonna click Add Source. And in the box right here, where it says None, you're going to, well, yeah, there we go. If I click the right thing, you're going to add that link, just um, control V, you can paste it into there or just type it out. And then you're going to hit done and then give this a name. I'm just going to call it Fusion. Well, if I would quit hitting the wrong things, that would be lovely. There we go. Fusion. And then you're going to hit OK. And from there, we're going to hit the home button down here, or the back button, either one. And we're going to go to system. And then you're gonna scroll down here to add-ons. And you're going to install from zip file. So what we're gonna do is we're going to install this repository with all of these um, add-ons in it that contains all the add-ons that we just added. So we look for what we named it, which was Fusion. And then you're gonna click start here and then you're going to click this one right here, plugin.video.hubwizard. And then you're going to install that. We're going to give that a second and see it just said config wizard add on enabled. So you know it's installed because it'll pop up at the bottom. Hit your home button again. From there, we're going to go to programs. And now you'll see that in the config wizard. So you click on that and it's going to come up. And once again, you're going to choose the um, operating system that you're using, and I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna choose Windows. Would you like to custom on your add -on, customize your add-on selection? Um, I'm gonna click yes. And then we're gonna let this download. We actually have several boxes in our house um, that have the same program. You don't need to have a box to run it. You can get it, like I said, just to go to the website. It's a free download. Um, the boxes are really handy though to have for sure. I've actually taken this my this program, it's on my laptop and I've actually taken it um, out of town before and hooked it with an HDMI cable to like a hotel um, TV set because oftentimes hotel channels they don't offer a big selection or if you're you know up at late at night and can't sleep or something you want to watch something then it's perfect for something like that. 
and it just you just connect it through Wi-Fi like you would a laptop and as long as hotel has free Wi-Fi then there you go all right so we have our fusion added and it has this lovely purpley sparkly background that my husband doesn't like but I do so what I'm going to show you if you'll go over here to videos you will see that it has put some shortcuts on the front I'll click on where it says add-ons to show you there's all kinds of add-ons in here that you can disable if you don't want them if you don't want that much on there you don't have to keep all those on there but we're going to just focus on a couple right now because these are the only two that I pretty much ever use my number one is Genesis and we will show you let's just go to movies right off the top of that and you can actually narrow it down by genre or box office most popular however or you can actually do a search for them too so let's look at most popular let's see we'll just click on the first one this is mission impossible <clears throat> and then you kind of get to know after you've used this for a little while which links are good links there are some HD links on here um, apps, but they often tend to like you, your quality is just kind of you, you're gonna have to choose the best one you can find and the one that works the best so that was that and obviously if it's a movie that's still at the movie theater a lot of times it'll be a screener release that's on here or um, something like that but the you can still find some really good quality stuff my kids just watched um, the new Jurassic World movie that's out last night and the quality was excellent so we're going to go back and we'll go to TV shows once again we'll just hit most popular and we'll just click on pretty little liars my daughter and i watched this show and we haven't actually finished it yet so we don't know who a is so i won't give anything away so we'll just click on the first one of the season and i am on wi-fi too if you were plugged in i'm sure this would probably be a little bit quicker We'll click on an HQ. HQ means high quality, and then they go all the way down to MQ, which is medium quality, and LQ, low quality. Like I said, see here, you can see there's a couple of HD versions. I've used the HD versions before and not had any trouble, but um, once again, that's just kind of, you know, depending on your personal preference. There are your internet connection, too, is a big factor as well. And then sometimes, like I'm, it's saying, no stream available. You may have to kind of go through the list a little bit. But there's so many options. That's not usually even an issue to find something. Like, I'll just go through here and show you how many options there are. So, to find a working link is not hard at all. Looks like this one's going to work, but it's going to take a second to load. There we go. Now well, that one is going to buffer a little bit, but we'll try to find a better one. My husband has these down pat as to which add-ons are the best. I, I don't use this nearly as much as he does, so I, he can look at them immediately and tell you which add-on or which sources are going to work better than the other ones. We'll just click on a HD version, see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna buffer. 
a lot of times you can actually like just pause it and it will load if you give it a little time so as you can see the HD version is very good quality it's pretty much just like watching it on TV but anyway so um, I hope that's giving you a chance to see what kind of stuff is on here and how easy it is to find things like I said sometimes you got to play around with the links a little bit uh, to find a source that that loads good or if you're you know just gotta have HD then you know just let it load for a little while a lot of times what I'll do I'll just sit and pause it and let it load and it plays fine from that point on but there you go the next one uh, is one channel and it's basically exact same thing I mean you're gonna uh, each add-on you're gonna find different shows on it like if you're looking for an older TV show then it might be a little harder to find it on Genesis one channel is probably a little bit better for a lot of the older TV shows um, but there's not much I haven't found on Genesis that I can't find and obviously all this stuff's gonna pop up because we just installed a new version so it's all new and we would do just do most popular again and of course it's going to take a second to load the list because this is the first time we have ran this add-on and we'll click on The Walking Dead awesome show if you haven't seen it you need to watch it of course, I don't know too many people that actually don't watch the show. All right, let's see. Prompt file. I do believe that is a good add-on, I remember my husband saying. Or maybe not. I don't know, this could be our internet too. We have Comcast and it has really been wonky for days. But anyway, as you can see, this is The Walking Dead. And it played immediately, no buffering whatsoever. So I think that guy that gives you guys a couple of good options. I have used Ice Films before too, but like I said, my absolute favorites are Genesis and One Channel. Um, Phoenix is okay too, but I think it's a little um, a little busy, <laughs> if you want to call it that, the way it looks and everything. But I hope this um, helps you guys out. This definitely, like I said, you can use this 100% to cut your cable and still have access to all of the newest TV shows and movies that are out there. That you know, I mean, obviously, if it's on your TV live, you're not going to go immediately and watch it, but nine times out of ten, especially if it's a popular TV show, like things like The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones or stuff like that, it's up within minutes of the show going off. And sometimes they'll even be up early. Like this season of The Game of Thrones, the first four episodes were released the first week the show came out. So you can sit and watch the first four episodes while everybody else had to wait for four weeks for it. So that's a little example of what happens sometimes with this this program here. So anyway, um, if you want more information about this program, you can go to spoonfedproduction.com. And there is all kinds of stuff on here. As you can see, there's XBMC slash Cody, because this program actually used to be called XBMC, in case you've ever heard it by that name, but they changed the name to Cody. There's all kinds of XBMC and Cody tutorials on here. There's the all the links for the um, repos and the add-ons. We have just started a product reviews page too, which I don't know if we have anything on that yet. Yeah, I think we have a few things on there so far that we've done. But um, anyway, go check out the website and look at any of the other videos you might be interested in if you want to find out about different add-ons or you know more in-depth stuff about installing Cody then check it out and I should be getting a new recipe video up sometime soon or maybe a product review I've got some products I need to do some reviews on too so I will see you guys later